Hey, it's Rick with LearnDigitalAdvertising.com and today we're going to look at tables with heat maps in Google Data Studio. So let's jump right in. First of all, let's take a look at a sample heat map and this was not created in Google Data Studio, but just a good representation of what heat maps do. And essentially what heat maps do to your metrics so the cells within your tables that are not dimensions is apply some sort of color scheme, you know, based on whatever logic. So you may decide that the higher valued numbers should be darker in color than lower value numbers. And it really just makes it easy to find those outliers, for example, those data values that are really high or really low, um, you know, and, and just kind of for the eye, just a lot easier to look at a lot of data and digest it quickly. So we're going to create something that looks a little bit like this, but in Data Studio. So on Data Studio, we are going to go to add a chart and up top we've got three different types of tables and we're going to choose the table with heat map which has a lot of our features built into it and i'll make this large so it's easier to look at and i'm quickly just going to modify the style a little bit because i don't really want the row numbers and uh, in addition i'm just going to make the font a little bigger so this is just a little easier to read so as with other charts in Google Data Studio, the first thing we want to do is determine our dimensions and our metrics. Uh, for the sake of this, we're just going to maybe report on each channel within um, our website and a data source in this particular example, we're using uh, Google Analytics, um, but this will work with any data source, obviously. Um, so for the dimension uh, on the right side, I'm basically just going to switch over to the default channel grouping. And for my metric, I'll start with sessions and I'll leave it there for now. And my sort order, I'm just going to maybe do, we'll sort by channel and maybe we'll do ascending so the user can sort of alphabetically quickly find the channel they're looking for. So what you can see on the front end, what you end up with then, obviously all your dimensions, the channels li listed on the left with metrics on the right. And it, you know, my eye is immediately drawn to this dark blue organic search because that's, you know, majority of the sessions uh, for this particular site. So. Uh, obviously, the lighter the lighter blues um, are lower values, so it just makes it really easy to quickly find sort of those outliers in either direction. Now, what's great about the heat map function in Data Studio is that we could potentially add a second metric. So in this case, maybe we want to show goal completions there. Now, when we apply, I'll just adjust the table a little bit here. When we apply that, then we now see that goal completions adopts a different color scheme. But again, on the front end, makes it really easy to identify not just sessions now, but where the goal completions come from and those outliers. So this is really as we continue to add um, you know, different metrics, this is going to continue to become a very colorful chart. But the good thing is you, know, you very quickly at a glance can just find trends, you know, find the outliers that are you know, high in traffic and goal completions, those that are low as well. You know, that sort of thing. Now, some of the features on this, I think, are pretty important, uh, mostly just the style. So this is like one of those elements, I think, that you got to kind of have an eye or start to just try to figure out a, a good process for picking the colors that you want to use. So this it doesn't completely look like, I'll go back to our example here, which gets a little bit hard to look at when we've used a lot of similar colors. Um, but you do want to kind of come up with a color scheme that makes this easy to look at and digest the data. So. Some of your features that you have here, you have all the typical table features where you can change the heading of the table, color, you know, color, anything like that. So I can make that like a gray or something. Um, so you have all that basic stuff, but what's different about the heat maps is that you can actually adjust for each metric set, the color scheme that you use. So um, we only have two chosen now, if you remember that sessions and goal completions and sessions is using a blue. I may decide that that should be a green and you know, that's pretty straightforward. And then goal completions, you know, maybe we'll just leave that red. So as we add on the data side, as we add new metrics um, on the style side, then we can style each of those metrics uh, as well. So um, it takes a little time to maybe get this to look exactly as you want it, but um, you should know that that is there. What this comes with, just like other tables that we'll go through, first of all, are the the option for drill down. So let's just say we're looking at channel grouping here and then maybe we wanna be able to drill down to the source, for example. Um, all we would do then, and, and what that basically does when we enable drill down, um, and on the front end, it makes it so that the end user could say, choose referrals, right click, drill down, 
and heat map uh, obviously maintains and now we're looking at all the different sources from referrals and again we can see the sessions and goal completions and all of that. So that's typical of a lot of charts now in Google Data Studio having drilled down. Second to that, another good one are the concept of optional metrics. So what we could do in, instead of just showing sessions and goal completions, if we remove goal completions, we could do optional metrics. And this basically just allows the end user to switch which metric they're reporting on. So we'll go back to the front end where we have our main metric is sessions and then an optional is goal completions. And from the front end, the end user then can simply use this little selector here to change our chart and decide which metrics to show. So they could show both sessions and goal completions or just goal completions. So a couple cool features to make the uh, data pretty interactive. Um, there's not much more to uh, the heat map tables. Um, you have all your typical features, things like uh, you know the data filters, um, you know obviously date range filters, all that kind of thing. Um, but you know the main point of these really is to take your tables that are typically, and especially large tables with lots of data, and sort of color color code them a little bit to make the data a little bit easier to look at. So hope this helps you uh, you know learn about tables. And uh, as always, please. Join us on LearnDigitalAdvertising.com and uh, subscribe on YouTube. We hope to see you soon. Thank you.